My apron. My apron is so dang cute. Like, what is going on? Like, why am I not wearing it? So, I thought, you know, and it is like clothing. So, I thought I should wear it. But, I wanted to share this with you. Something like I just realized. And also, I want to talk about... It needs to be iron, so delay. I want to talk about when you start off doing one thing, but you wind up creating... When you start off creating one thing but you wind up creating another and how let spirit rule. Like spirit always rules and how you have to allow spirit to rule. So let me let you get a, hey, hey, my che, waho to send. So first what I've decided to do is to make the whole, uh, yeah, that's a delight, hey, make the whole space of my stuff. Like I wanna see my stuff. So back there is my two aprons, uh, two, uh, two robes. And right now I have my beautiful apron on, but let me show you what I really came to show y'all. Oh my God. So y'all, let's first feast our eyes on this beauty. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Yes, this is that lamp, but we had to redo it. So I want to tell y'all a story for those that are new, just joining in, whatever, or those that heard it, but maybe hear it this way. The reason why I'm even doing this video is when I picked this up from the Kalabash man, what the Kalabash man said to me was, Congratulations, you designed your first lamp. Congratulations, you designed your first lamp. So y'all know I had these two calabashes. It was actually this bottom one and another one that he couldn't use because it was to the side. So I came to the calabash man. And isn't it beautiful? Let me do it to turn off the lights, y'all. Thank you, Zoom, but thank you, hey, Angel. And I first came to the Calabash man, I said, you know, I have these two and I, I got an idea. I don't know how the idea came, but you know, it came. And I was like, I would like you to take the two Calabashes and make them into a lamp. And I said, hmm, and he said, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, I love it. I said, yeah, put one on top of the other and it could be a lamp. And I said, and then I want to, I want it to be, I want to put a, a coffee table on top or a table, a glass table on top, and it'd be like a coffee table. But I said, I want it to be, he's like, what design? I said, I want it to be like an aquarium. And I, I always know the story, I'll tell you, because Kwame laughed like, oh, aquarium. I said, yeah, he said, I said, like, I want fish. I, and I said, oh, go anyway, that's what I would like, like an aquarium and a light, lights, ovens on the floor, and it's a coffee table, it's like a lit up aquarium. He said, no, I can do that. I, and then he said, look, I got this. And he said, I, I got, he showed me a smaller one, and it was a car with the starfish. I was like, yes, the stars, the dog on the stars. We're made, we come from the star. Like, you know, it was cosmic, y'all. So then he said, and he said, I, I, and on the bottom, he said, I can do the fish. And you could actually have your aquarium. I was like, oh, wow, you do that? <laughs> he was like, yes, I saw the starfish. So I didn't know, he said he's going to do fish. I just was like, you know what, I'm good. Like, let him do the fish because I don't know. Now, when he came out with the fish, and he had the fish in colors, see, that, I didn't know that. I didn't know about the colors. I didn't know he did the fish. And, like, I love Natural Clever pointing out, look at the lips. It's like a heart. It's just so beautiful. And now you can see the colors. So remember, y'all, we're going to turn off the lights, too, but I want you to see all of the fish and the beautiful colors. You can see how amazing it is. So he was like, well, I got to figure out how to do it. That was the thing. He's like, I don't really know how to do it, but I know, I know I gotta figure it out. Let me figure out how to do it. Let me sit with it for about two to three days. Let me, I say, hey, figure it out. I know you can do it. <laughs> That's what I tell people when I really want them to do well and I, they, their confidence is a little low. I always tell them, I know you can do it. So I'm just showing you all the beauty of it. So he uh, sat for a while and he told me uh, constructively, constructionally, how he could do it. And I said, okay, that sounds good to me. So when he did it, he talked about the one light bulb from the top, um, and that's it. And I, I said right away, you think that the one light bulb is going to light both of them? And he was like, yeah, I, I, let's try it. I think so. I was like, okay. You know, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really, really sure. Okay. So when he gave it to me, it was the one light bulb. But y'all remember, y'all saw it. It was not lit up on the bottom, and that was bothering me. So I said to him, and... When he first gave it to me, he said he just he said, "Oh, I'm just gonna like snap one in, pull a base around the, this one, and just turn it into." 
And I knew, I, I, when he sent them straight to me, I said, oh, I don't know if that's going to be secure. So I didn't even make it home with it. I told y'all I was going to the taxi and it didn't fell. And yeah, so anyway, Kwame said, I'm taking this back. So he said, no, I got it now. I got it. I was like, okay, cool. I'm, I'm fi I feel you on this. So, so I was like, I think it needs two light bulbs. It needs a light bulb on the front and top. Now I said, I don't know how you're going to do the two light bulbs. But don't you think that they both need their own light bulb? Like, wouldn't that make more sense? And he said, you know what? Yes, it would. And he said, let me sit with it. He sat with it for another day or so. He told me he got it. And when I came back, which was today, uh, he got it. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. And so that's what he said. Because through all this, I forgot that I came with the idea, the quim, the this, the that. Even on some level of construction, what he thought was going to work, I, I didn't. I didn't want to get in his way. But at the same time, like, you know, you have a voice. And you know shit, yo. You know stuff. Like, you have a voice and you know stuff. And you have to speak up and say, hey, I know, you know, you're the expert. But you think that's going to work? Because I, I, I could see you be shocked what you know. So that's number one. Number two is... I forgot through all of this. Well, I was going, okay, thank you. We talked about our next project, you know, what we want to do together the whole bit. And I was just gone. I was like, okay, thank you. He's like, so I just want to say congratulations. I said, oh, congratulations for what? He said, you designed your first, this is yours. So this one is called Underwater. As I say, she was born underwater. This is called Underwater because I had this idea. And so listen, though, the other part of the story, which I think is a very important part of the other part of the story so initially i y'all know i wanted it to be this coffee table. i was like oh it's gonna be this coffee table we're gonna do this coffee table it's gonna be this coffee table and now that i see it it was never gonna be a coffee table that's what it was gonna be it was gonna be on the coffee table it was never gonna be a coffee table maybe in the future i i will design coffee tables but that's not even right now in my spirit when i see what it is I don't even need it to be a coffee table. Eventually, like I said, I'll do another one and I got another idea already. I got another idea actually for a Chez Lounge thing that is gonna be so beautiful, but it just came to me today and it just I have to sketch it. But it don't, sometimes what you start off with, you're not gonna, you might not end with. And that is just so, so beautiful when you really think about that, that you thought that you were going to, I was going to, I thought, you know, y'all, that I was going to do this coffee table on, with this. Like, I thought this was the first part. And it was going to be the second part. Not to say in the future something else might happen, but when I think about it, a home decor line, Afrocentric, don't you want your own lamps? Isn't that one of the hardest things when you're doing home decor to find? It's a lot of lamps out there, but a lot of them don't really look that good. Some of them don't, like, I mean, they look good enough, or they, like, they trendy, and so they're not lasting unless you're going into it. So today, when he said congratulations, you know, I got the lamp, and I sat down, and I thought about this lamp. It's one of a kind. It's unique. All his lamps are beautiful, but this one is mine. And I sat, and I started looking at, like, high-end lamps. I just wanted to see what was out there. And uh, right away, Neiman Marcus uh, came up. And oh my God, they got these lamps with these names and all this, this great amount of money for it. And, and I thought, this is so much prettier than the lamps they have that have these names that I guess I'm sure, I'm sure some black people know too. But I know white folks know. And I'm thinking, wow, 500, 700, 850, you know, for the lamp. And this is so much more beautiful, so much more together, like so much more happening. And I just really thought about, yes, that vision of, the high end and Africa is high end and, and cultured and all of that. This is it. So I'm going to show you with the lights off. Now, do you see in the background, I changed the ironing board cover. That's the other one. Y'all remember that one? I love it. I, I, was, I kept thinking, I was like, oh, the Angelina, I probably will never change it. I'm going to love this. I apps, it's a little wrinkle. I know I could iron it, but I love it. The Africa on it. I love it. I love it. So we got to put those, those up. And then I thought, oh, this would be so nice. And we went and put on my robe. Like I said, we need a tripod. Let's not go into the tripod story. But it is one. And we need it. But yeah, my robe. Anyway, you know the robe. I'll show you when we sit down. The beautiful robe as dressed. First one. And so anyway, let me show you this. Okay, so you see it. 
with the light on and I, I will definitely say that it's lit, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning and beautiful because you get to see the colors. So let's see it it's completely dark. Now that is cosmic. Now that is cosmic. That is, that's my, I mean, it's a collaboration for sure. He's the artist, he's the carver. He already had the starfish, he then did the fish. And, but what a beautiful marriage. What a beautiful, what, yes, isn't it Charles Mary? Like, it's beautiful. He was so proud, so he did something based on this. He's like, you inspired me. This is the next one I'm working on based on yours. He said, what do you think? And we sat there and we actually designed another one. He started it, well, I guess this started it, and then he put some, and we had some ideas. We were brainstorming like crazy today. We're really going into business. But, so this one is exclusively for Afro, well, this is Afro Central Home Decor, like this, but until he said it, y'all, y'all feel me? Congratulations. I was like, congratulations. Oh, that's right, that was me, I did that. You could even see like the little bit of blue difference in the lips. It is so stunning. And I mean, every time you, oh my God, the bubbles in the water. Every time you get close to it in every room that you put it in, you could imagine that it's gonna feel and look different. And then, you know, if this wasn't even here, go higher. But what I always love about the color wash lamp is, is the lamps are the designs, the reflection on the wall. This is stunning. Like if I had to design one, I feel like mine is the prettiest one of all. No, but I really do. Like, I feel like if I had to design one, I mean, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, BB. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Like, oh, like, it took me a minute. I was like, wait, something happened today. Something really happened today. And I was like, thank you. You're right. Oh, my gosh. And like I said, started off as on a coffee, on the, you know, a coffee table is going to be a coffee table, calabash lamp on the coffee table. And look, it's on the coffee table instead of the coffee table's on it. It is a lamp and it's nothing else. And it's beautiful, isn't it? And I saw that. So y'all, now you know we have used all of the calabashes in the house. Y'all was here. I like to always remind you how you were all here for these calabashes. So let's go and see the calabashes. So yeah, so you remember that you were here, you were here for all of it. You saw the calabash for those that were, I'm just cutting on the light, please excuse me. You saw the calabashes when they were just calabashes. And the beauty of the calabashes is I, I found the calabash man because I was walking with Kwame and Kwame be walking so fast because I guess people here on, he had, I was saying, he, he had a beef, it was, it was so small to me, but it's okay, Kwame be holding on. He had a beat with the man and it was so I went by and said, wait, 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 wait. What is he doing there? Oh my God, is that, what? It, is that a calabash? Because you know, at that point, remember y'all, I was in love with the calabashes. Y'all know, like, I mean, super in love with just the plain calabashes. And Kwame's like, oh, come on. I said, no, 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 no. I got to stop Kwame. I got, and I started talking to him. And I was like, Kwame, what is the problem? Like, I left, well, you know, 15, 15 years ago. What was the fight about? I don't remember. Okay, you know what? Anyway, I want to work with him, Kwame, and I did. So these were two calabashes that were just plain calabashes that I used to hold those beautiful feathery things. I think for a minute, it was nothing in it. So you remember those two. Now these, the one is being fixed and, and cared for, uh, so it's not here. You should see the, the shade. These, I completely, they were not my calabashes. These are more of the gourds. They are gourds, but... That was strictly him, cause when he, cause I remember I needed lighting. It was like all up about your lighting stinks, and I was like, it does. Oops, yeah, calabashes. And then we have these were literally that was my calabash, and that was my calabash that he turned into those kind of lamps. Wait a second. So oh, and then the other calabashes were these calabashes that I had Kwame carve, and so I think. All together, that's two, four, six, seven, I had nine, because I remember I had nine. So all of them are either lamps or they're used to store or, and actually the rest of them is just lamps, right? I'm so excited. So you remember those calabashes were on the floor, but they are no longer on the floor. They are now over here. Isn't that beautiful? 
So of course, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I can't have all the lamps and all the stuff. I mean, y'all gotta buy some of the stuff. So if you want this, you can, not mine, <laughs> but if you want this, email me at theblackberryberry at gmail.com. It is exquisite, it is one of a kind, it is Afrocentric Home Design, and I teamed up with the Calabash Man, and we are partners in this, and we are doing it together, so we have other beautiful stuff coming, but if you know you want the uh, uh, Born Underwater, she was born underwater, or, you, or we just call it Born Underwater, so because we, we got to name the Calabashes, okay, and I named her, I was in you know, the restroom, and I, I was like, hey, you know what, she liked the uh, Erica Badu song, and I was born on the water with six dollars and three dimes, right? So what? She Pisces, 360, yeah, knowledge, degrees, you know. Uh, so born underwater, I was like, well, this is because every time I see this, I sing that song from the Little Mermaid, Under the Sea. Like every single time, I was like, well, Under the Sea, no, born on the water. And the reason why she was born on the water, why I named it that, is because it's cosmic, and I'm so cosmic. She was born on the water. I mean, there's something very beautiful and spiritual. I mean, this has so many vibes. If you have the boho style, Af boho, strictly boho, this would fit. Afro boho, this would fit. If you have the uh, Moroccan, just like I went Moroccan, this would fit. If you like Indian stuff, this would fit. Like, what I'm realizing, and which is very interesting, I mean, some that, you know, take it and understand what I'm about to say, it really... Afrocentric home decor, is, it defies even a space because any space you put it in, it's going to up-level the space. Because, and that's what we have to understand. It is as beautiful, if not more, than any high-end, any expensive, any sought-after, any one-of-a-kind, you know, in a sense, uh, any other culture, whether it's Asian or you know of European European culture, this is what look at it. Anybody would love this. Like any, I think if you everybody and this is another thing. Everybody needs a lamp, but everybody don't want the same lamps. How many people go to Home Goods? You get a lamp, and after a while, I see it on the home towns all the time. Nobody want to get that damn lamp anymore. The only lamps I ever had, and they were big and bulky. They say it's pretty. It was hand painted. They were from the flea market. I got them at a garage sale, as a matter of fact, used. Because I needed that uniqueness because that thing with the lamp. And then, then there's all these cheap lamps, like the lamp I had, the Target lamp, the college lamp, the lamps that stand. It's mostly probably some form of plastic. But everybody wants a beautiful lamp. Like, that's it. And you know, and people, I remember when I bought those flea market lamps, I paid 45 uh, dollars a piece and, and somebody else was eyeing them too they the, the the shade was made of silk and the thing was hand painted i'm sure back in the day they were hundreds of dollars because a, a good lamp i'm not saying it's hard to find but it kind of is it kind of is a lamp made of a natural fiber by an african the brothers from to togo he's togolese it's amazing my high percentage of Togolese and Congo is so, after the 32% uh, Nigerian, I think then 28 or something from Cameroon, the rest is in Cameroon, Congo, that's all of that. Because I connect to the Congolese a lot. I, I noticed that. So I think, or the Togolese as well, Togo and the Congo as well. And the Togo, Togolese, though, I'm sorry, the Togolese a lot. And uh, so he's Togolese, he's from Togo. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, okay, back to the lamp. Sorry, we need to get back to this lamp. This is, this is so beautiful. And like I said, I had another vision of something else. So I'm excited. I'm excited y'all could share this with me. So this is the stuff that we will be selling for sure is the robes, the robes. That's robe number one. That's robe number two. The aprons from this level to the other levels. The calabashes is all the stuff that I'm so proud of. The baskets that's up in the kitchen and all of that other good stuff. So, so I want to talk to you about something. So just, it's good stuff. You know I love them. You know I do. I designed them. I got to love them. And they just got energy. When you design and you have the people that work with you, 
Oh my God, you know who they are. That's another vibe, y'all. That's a whole nother vibe, just like this. So one more time with the lights off. Different vibe that I mean, it's beautiful with the lights on, it's beautiful with the lights off. I mean, that's what I love. It looks, and it looks like two different lamps. Uh, when, you, when you put the lights on, it looks like one kind of lamp, but still, and see that second light? He was like, yeah, you were definitely right. I said, yeah, that's, remember y'all did that video? I was like, that's what's missing. So he, he needs me now. <laughs> he needs me. That's what's really going on. He didn't even know. But you know now. So yeah, y'all. So um, I can't really lift y'all up. We're gonna do some type of lifting. Let me see. No, because I got this craft room. This room is not for the public. Because this room got some real major stuff going on in this room. Like major production. And I just get better and better at it. And that is really cool. I'm getting better and better at it, and I'm excited. But I'm, you know, my bag line is really coming along. It's just as I, as I work with it, I can work with it more, and it just becomes this work of art. All right, let me put on the other light as well. Yay! Okay. So I was gonna title. I was gonna do a video on title. He's so. Oh wait. Entitled, he's so mad at me. Oh my God. So y'all, we know that we're doing, let's see, you know I got the janky, and I'm in the janky. Let me see if I can turn this around, how janky will be. It's pretty janky, but boom, we're gonna work it out. Try five. So I told you about the nine. You know, don't worry, I'm gonna fix y'all. I'm gonna fix y'all. I, I told you about the nine. I told you about the nine and completion. You know, we got to have our spiritual time. So for everybody that just came for the home decor, I'm going to get spiritual. Uh, it's after hours for me. Maybe birthday life for you all. <laughs> but it's after hours for your sister. Okay. So I'm trying to make some work that is clearly broken. And you know how that go. Don't do it. Okay, don't give up though either. Don't give up. Okay. So my lamps I don't have because I need some uh, light bulbs for uh, that particular lamp. So I had to take the light bulbs from the other two lamps. Which on my dress I only have one lamp because the other one's being fixed. Uh, and that's it. And that's it. So so it's a little dark and I do apologize for that. But we already know when we come in here it's a mood anyway. Those are moods. This whole space is mood. Y'all. Oh, baby, is so he's so mad at me. Like, he's so mad at me. I cannot help it, but I have to move on. You know, I was watching Lisa Price, so the founder of Carol's Daughter, because I'm really into that. And I found my little mentor, and I just love what she's all about. And, you know, somebody had asked her a question. The question was, how do you know when it's time to take your business to the next level? This is any business. This is not just design. This is any business. How do you know? Because you know it's the scary, like you're doing, oh, you're over here and maybe things are flowing or good or maybe it's not flowing so much, but you've gotten or you've grown or you've yeah, gotten to a place where you can't really go no higher if you stay where you are. And although it's scary to move on in the whole bit, you have to do it. That's when you move on. When, you, when that feeling comes like, and so for me, I, I, well, first thing I will say for me, how I know I'm, I'm already moving on and I've you know, moved on is I somehow, well, I don't know what happened, but I'm so much more serious now. And I think it's because I, my daughter is now working for me and I have to produce a salary for her. And thank God, because I realized she has always been uh, kind of like a force in my life that forces me to always go to the next level and to never ever quit and to not rest on my laurels like my daughter that her don't, don't do that for me but I, I still think it's even before my daughter graduated and now you know is working for me I do I think it's also that I just want I feel more serious I think I didn't really understand I, at first, it was kind of still like, 
kind of, I don't know how to say, I don't even want to say it's a hobby, but let's just say that like, it was just kind of a hobby. Oh, let me create this vanity, first thing I created, because if I create the vanity, okay, good, it's my business anyway. If, if I create this vanity, I never had, I didn't, I always dreamt of the vanity so I could make my own. It was that. It was, I needed a vanity, so I, I mean, I, 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 you know, I designed a vanity. That was it. Isn't that crazy? Not crazy with that. And then it was, oh, I needed a bed, so I designed a bed. And I didn't even use the word design. I got this bed made. And I always needed a wardrobe, so I got the wardrobe made. That's how the whole thing started. Until I think I did the robes, the aprons, and even the yoga wear, which I will return to one day. Then I start saying, oh my God, I'm a de I designed. I designed. When I came out with them last two couture pieces, that was it. That was I was I, I believe that I believe that there's something here. And then the lamps and all that. And even the stuff I don't design that I, I choose, I said, okay, wait, you know what? This is something. But it then still shit. I don't can't tell you how the transition happened. I just know that something kicked in. And I started taking it serious. I started going faster and wanted more. The more I, I did, the more I could do. When I when I could make my own fabric, that oh that was game changer. But what I noticed was the more I wanted, the more I saw, the more I had to have, the more that I knew I could have, the more I saw the possibilities. When I met the sister, she was like, hey, you know what? Like, she was giving it up, like helping me out. She was been in the business for a long time on very different aspects of the business, not just creating the baskets, but she worked for Neiman Marcus. She worked for all these other high-end stores. So she knew a lot about placement and marketing. And then my sister friend, Sandra, who watches me, also was in the, in the design and fashion world. And she would send me different things about different things. And it's like everybody's kind of telling you, hey, you know what? And then my sisters, you know, a couple of my sisters here is like, hey, that's something. You should probably keep that under wraps or, you know, do it right. But all of that was happening at the still same time of, I could start to be like the passion, the passion, the passion. I got to create. People were against me. Remember, why would you do the whole kitchen over? It's not your kitchen. You're just renting. Why are you customing everything? Overkill. No, that's called designing. I mean, it was constant. It was numbers falling. It was just, it was just not, it wasn't a whole lot of love. People were kind of upset. Like I was extreme. Oh, remember the, don't you know there's men being, black men dying? Like, and you, you know, you talk about curtains. Like it was just, that's when you know when you can't even hear all them people. You couldn't even hear them. Like, and then the idea of don't tell me to the point nobody does. So it worked. I mean, I might've lost a few people, but who, I mean, those people didn't understand what I was doing. When I was fighting to hold my vision, it showed me that if I can hold my vision on this small scale, I'm I, on a foundational level, I'm going to be good when I move up into the big, big league. Because my vision is everything. And Lisa Price talks about that. How when she moved from the, the girl making, the young lady, the young woman making her, her products inside her home, to now sitting at the table with all these investors and all these people that were experts in the marketing, experts in this, experts in that. And she said that she had kind of not took the head seat and was letting all these people do make all the decisions. And she knew in her gut that I know I'm not supposed to know about all this because they're experts, right? She's an expert in social justice, she's the expert, he's the expert. And in the end, she didn't say anything and she wrong and being right. And so always keeping your voice. You know, always holding on and listening to, she, she's big on the intuition, which you know I only live by intuition. I don't really know much more. So I'm not afraid. That's when it's time. Some people say you might be scared and you st there's still time, but I'm not even scared. I'm, I'm sitting here going, so what's up? So where, where, where are we going? When is happening? Like, I'm not scared at all. There's no fear of moving forward. I, I, if there was a fear, which I just don't have none at this point in my life, and I'm not saying I won't have it, you know, if, you know, junctions in my life, but if there was a fear and it's not, it would be going backwards. And I don't even think about that. So I'm moving forward, right? 
So people can feel that's close to you that you're moving forward. And what usually happens, instead of them rising to the occasion where they can possibly move forward with you, they actually move backwards. So he don't hardly want to do this. He, don't, he, can, he, he had this proposal to me that was preposterous. So this is the idea. Let's say that you go to a temp agency and a temp agency finds you the job, right? When the temp agency, and this is how they, I don't know if they even still exist, but this is how they work in my days. They find you the job and sometimes the person you work for actually likes you and want to hire you. It happened to me, probably happened to a lot of y'all. So what does the person do? They pay a fee, right, in a sense, like a finder's fee, I guess, to the agency and then they hire you on. Now, the agency is done. Once they hire you on, the agency is done. The agency don't get, even after you got the job, I'm not talking about while you're temping, while you're temping, yeah, they're, they're, your $15 an hour really they're getting from the company 25. That's fine, that's because they're loaning you out. But after you get the job, the, company, the, the uh, agency is gone. They got their money for you and that's how it goes. So it's like a finder's fee. Uh, same thing with the realtor. After the realtor finds your house, he don't get on the more he don't get a, a percentage of the mortgage that you're paying to the bank. He don't they don't drop he's done, he's over. So that's usually how it goes. This man so to me, I think so you introduced me to somebody that that's what you was doing anyway, you was doing it for free. I wind up feeling like, okay, wait, you got a skill, you can help me. I want to pay him, I pay him for every, not just every introduction, every time we go back again and again and again, and he talks the language, which I'm telling you lately is there's no, because now they know the language, they know me, we know the business, like I told you, there's no more hiking the prices, all that is over. People are seriously trying to make money, people are seriously out here trying to eat, so if they see a person they can do business with, and that's always the deal. You do it, that person's not your customer, that person's fine, if those two people decide. So a lot of his people, once he hooks them up with the vendor, they sometimes work with the vendors for years, and that's between them. Like he said, hey, he gets a finance reward. Well, he wasn't even getting that. It, it, he was waiting for, remember the kindness of the heart. And I was like, well, no, you should be getting something. If you're taking them to the people, you gotta get something. But they don't, after that, I mean, they go to their respective countries. A lot of them are in the UK. A lot of them are in other parts of Europe even, but they're Africans. He don't, when they go to their website, sell something, get a percentage. Do you know he came to me and he's like, I think I should get a percentage of everything you sell. Are you out of your free? You got to be. See, I, but I knew he was losing it. And I explained to him how business works and why. Do you pay for the host monster? Do you pay for my hosting? Do you pay for my website? Do you pay for, do you know the endless amount of bills it has to run a business? Do you? And then even the things you're supposed to do, you ain't have even doing that. Like you ain't, but I know he's desperate. And you know, it kind of got me upset because I was like, these other mothers that was in his life didn't even like, I, well, cause they didn't even live here. It wasn't even their fault. They couldn't employ him. I'm employing him, Kwame gets paid either two times a week for the, you know, or sometimes, it used to be daily, now I just make it two times a week. And now I got more of a salary where we're just not throwing the money around for nothing. And he was good with it, great. Actually, he was great with it, because I'm telling y'all, it's like looking back. So you go to the art center, and you remember that you was that tourist that came, and all these men, mostly men vendors, run after you, and they pull stuff from different vendors, and they try to sell you. It's such a funny thing to now watch it, and you see, I'd be like, oh, the foreigners are here, and they be black, so it's hilarious, because now I'm on the other side. And you see them running to get the foreigners, and you know, so they can jack up the price. No, it's a hustle, it's a hustle. Well, the, this friend of mine, he was one of them, okay? <laughs> I just need y'all to know, he was one of them. He's not one of them anymore. He don't have to run and hope the very two or three tourists that come through, because you know at this time, we're in a pandemic, people ain't traveling. He got it good. But it's so sad that you won't play me, the person that gives, that offered you more than ever, that every time I get money, he just be shocked and says, God bless you. That's a sure sign that a Ghanaian is pleased. If you give him something and they say, God bless you, that means, 
oh my God, I didn't expect that much. I said, if you ask anybody, if you can name, you know it's the truth. When they say God bless you, that means they was not expecting that, okay? So if it was if I wasn't here, he would I don't know what he would be doing. I guess he would have to be running behind the tours like everybody was doing, like they they like everybody else was doing that. I see the same people. They don't even look at me. They tell me, I mean, I'm part of the family now. So so what I'm saying is, you know, first it kind of got me like a little upset too. Like, why are you trying to play me when I'm the only, I, I, you, you, you surviving because I'm saying, I, but the thing that I, like I said, I started noticing is, I guess he doesn't translate. It's no, the people speak English. Nobody's jacking up the price. He even had to admit it. He's like, they not jacking up the price for you. I said, I know. So there's no, so I didn't do that. That's a, just some normal thing. Like the people, okay, thank you. You made the, you, you introduced us. We doing the thing, but this is something else that really pissed me off. Not only that, I put them on. So I said, so when I had you teach the language class, I didn't ask for a dime. I paid you one money that he got paid for one thing probably ever. Then I put you on a second time to teach a second class, and I paid you. Then when you brought the staffs and all the other stuff that I showed my audience that I work for, I didn't ask you for money for the stuff that I work. This is my audience that trusts me. I didn't ask you for nothing. And wait, I even employed you. I mean, I'm still employing him, yes. I wanted the armoire, but I wanted him to work. So I had him do the same thing with him. I paid him. I had him doing the thing with someone on the bed. I paid him. I had him doing the thing with someone was on the collar box. I paid him. I had him doing the thing with someone was on, on the uh, what you call the shelf in the back kitchen. I paid you. Most people just that, what they usually do is they hope somebody dash them something. I was from the beginning. How much is this? He would never give me a price, so I would just give him what I thought it would be, and he would be like, "God bless you." Okay, I already know. So it's just like so sad that. You do you do that to somebody who actually recognize you or somebody who actually but the fact is and I understand where coming from, you can't make that person I you no, I told him you you can't be my partner. Like what I need a partner for? I built this. You know what I'm saying? And you can't expect me to stay in the same place with you forever. Like I'm he can't always be my employee. It's not going it's I'm not even gonna probably be in this I'm not even be in this particular going to that area anymore because the life will just take me to some other places, except to hang out with my vendors. So like he half don't want to do it. Now he was all salty. I could tell he wouldn't really want me nowhere to the people. We don't have to because I know how to get there by myself. Before I was being lazy and not knowing how to navigate through. Now I know exactly how to go to all my vendors. And the collar wash man, you told me that you didn't even want to talk with him. I had to make you, but he don't even, the collar wash man don't never speak tree because he's from the Togo. He's from Togo. So he don't even speak treated. Because <laughs> the total guy speaks great English. The um the bad guy speaks great English. I mean, he's I think he feels like what he here for, but and I still pay you. But now you ain't wanna hardly work. He was snotty and nasty the last couple of days. Cause he's like, I know you're gonna sack me. Sack me is the way Ghanaians say you're gonna fire me or quit me, break up with me, whatever way it depends on your situation. No, you're sacking yourself by not doing the work. And some people can't go with you, and I'm okay. I don't need a hang on. I can't carry that weight. It is not fair. I've done all that I could. I cannot do any more. I can, and now you've got negative energy. You're making this job less fun. You're being nasty to me. You yelling and screaming and acting and oh, no, dude, I'm not doing nothing. You doing it? I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. But I am looking for a personal assistant, and I, of course, I told him because I was like, I was, you don't want to do this, and it's okay. It's okay. So I'm not feeling no way. Like I'm not unhappy. Like my, I'm in joyful. I'll be in my own head. Like everything is good. But for some of you that might be facing this, like, oh, how do I move to the next level? Or is it really time to let go? Or how do I let go of somebody that I've been taking care of? I always go back to the dilemma of black folks who had no money and then what seemed to be overnight, like the rappers or even different actors, but the rappers really fell into it. 
and they and everybody want to be on and you you giving jobs to people that ain't doing the job don't really have a job what's their title don't really know what's their duties uh hang out with me all day Are you paying for that shit you know what i'm saying but that's the thing we do right i'm not doing that no i was very clear i said well that's not gonna happen tell me what you because what you want you are my assistant and you don't even want to do that so nobody leaving you took it I mean, you see a lot of people, it's not, I mean, some I'm working with, some I'm not. The two I met, you didn't even show me, and that's okay. If you did, it doesn't, you still getting paid. You walk me over there, and so walking me to those places in the, in the center, I still pay you. What, what, what is the problem? What is the problem? But the problem is... I thought you were gonna be my everything. I thought, you know, because I was saying, remember you know, pouring all things like, you know, we can just marry and all the money be all the money. What all the money? You ain't got no money. What are you talking about? I pay for all of the stuff. Every item that I get, I pay for my design. You want half of that? Why? You didn't even think of it. I pay for the coffee. I, what are you saying? But the other thing too is, as I said, that whole thing, like he was, I, I really want to say that he said to me, was this is his last chance that I was his last chance. Like, and I told you before, you don't want to be nobody's last chance. You got too much to do. You don't need nobody hanging on like that. That's not even fair. And I'm not having it. And I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so good. I've been coming home. You know, I don't call anymore to talk. We don't need to do that. I be feeling free. Like I left today at three. I've been leaving about three sometimes. I think one day I left at two. Because once I work my hours straight, and there's nothing else to do, I'm not sitting around. I got computer work. You know, I'm going into a whole nother realm. I'm cleaning up my life. I'm, I'm going to be incorporated in, in about 10 days, you know. I'm moving forward. Another thing, too, like, I really want to go to Cape Coast, and I don't really want to go with him, so I'm going to talk to Kojo and see if I could hire a driver to get me there, and then two days later, come back and get me. I need time to myself. I need to enjoy Ghana and I need some space and I need some time. I realized that today and I need to start moving into other uh, other levels of where this is going. That space that is being filled by this person, it, it, it really wants to be filled by somebody else. It's begging to be filled by somebody else and I'm going to let it be. I'm going to let it be. So yeah, I mean, he's thinking crazy. I said, but that was, I knew that was his desperation. I knew that was his fear. That's not my problem. And you got to let people go, and you're going to have to learn how to do it. So join the mastermind. So the mastermind, if you go to join the mastermind now, and even though the cart says $47, when you go to actually check out, it says $97, it's because it's a, it's, that's the one thing on the website that, uh, that my assistant, I'm sorry, that my web designer did. And she's going to fix it. So don't worry. Don't do, that, that doesn't start to the second Sunday in January anyway. So don't push that button yet. Uh, I'll get that together. But when it's ready, I'll let you know. You need to join. You need to join. So yeah, so yeah. And then, and then you see a little bit of even like a jealousy. Because I'm like talking to the guy with the uh, batik and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And then this was next and all of it. It's just... So again, today I said, you know, I got an idea because I'm thinking about building uh, special boxes to ship the kalaboshes. Something that the uh, that my ex actually did with some of his artwork, and I heard the kalabash man say somebody else did that once too. And I thought, what a beauty to not only have your kalabash, but have it in some beautiful made, you know, box like protective box. I was going to tell him about it. He's like, uh, 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 just snotty. But then I thought, no, well, he, he's not a carpenter. So maybe he could put him things on it. But, you know, he's not a carpenter. I'm going to tell you something about something Lisa Price, Price said, too. How important it is, especially as uh, me in my 50s, to have young people around you. First of all, they know social media. My daughter, I'm gonna give you, I want to tell you this. This is when I had to say, wow. I'm in a whole nother era and I'm in a whole nother space and I need to kind of let go a bit. So I was talking about the spiritual protection masterclass and I'm going to be doing January 3rd, right? So my daughter, we were on the phone because my daughter is working with my email list and so she's creating all the flyers. So she says, 
she had this beautiful, this young girl, and it was, um, it was, uh, yeah, spiritually protective. The girl was had a little headset on. Hair was natural. She was young, and she was her spiritually protective to my daughter looked like you want to feel free, right? She ain't got a care in the world. I said, well, don't you think we should have a warrior woman? <laughs> a warrior? Well, I, I, I saw a spiritual protector the war. And my daughter said, well, mom, you know, hey, my daughter's 23. Let's just start 24. 24, December 3rd. And I just loved it. And I remember hearing Lisa Price talk about that. And I thought, see, this is why you need young people. I said, no, you're right. The picture is great. You're going to see it's going to come to your email. Please check your emails. And the logo, Facebook, everybody that's from Facebook, y'all been loving the logo. The logo is on my daughter. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I laughed to my son. It's like, no, 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 that's why I hired you. Yes, you're right. Even the Instagram, I even dealing with Instagram. I'm, I'm just, and I, yes, I know, you got to laugh as a club. I was like, no, the warrior was, she's like, mom. I was like, wait, you're right. Like, that is what free and she's happy. And wow, I never associated. <laughs> She said, well, isn't that why so you could feel free, so you could feel protected? And when you feel protected, you're happy, young and vibrant. Oh, my God. Headsets on. Wait till you see it. You're not thinking about my daughter every time you see that flyer. And I had to laugh because I remember with him, I would say, hey, like trying to make things that he could do. But you know what? He told me. That the other people, no, they didn't wasn't just coming to take. There was a few, like I said, the guy from the UK, especially said, Well, let me see what you could do. Cause maybe I could, if you could bring me something, same thing I said, maybe I could sell it in my store. He had a physical store and an online store. He had really nothing. Everything he had, you thought it was his, it wasn't even his. It was somebody else that carved it. He just polished it or something. And his handwriting for like carving names wasn't good. And he said, Well, practice that. Maybe we could. He was trying. But when somebody doesn't believe in themselves and somebody doesn't believe that they have anything to offer, that's what they're going to show you. A disbelief in themselves and they don't have nothing to offer, which then makes them angry. Some people stopped. They don't believe in themselves and maybe they really just don't have much more. And you can't make those people, if it's not your child, that's not even your job to make some grown person see. So the young person, that's why I mean, I guess that's why I like the 14 year old girl that way. They just, ah, uh, and my daughter is 24. Like I need that around me. First of all, I need it around me because I'm 53 and I need to get out of my own version of me, you know, and understand that this is a whole nother world, whole nother market and young, this is a young person's market, but that don't mean, uh, Lisa Price was born in 1962. I was born in 1967, so she's older than me. And she realizes that. So she realizes that that's, that's what's really the thought thinkers, the, the, the visionaries. I need that around me. So that old way and that old time and that old fear, it needs, I need that around me to shake me up, to make me think differently, to make me go in different directions that I would have never gone in before, to be brand new. I, I've been kind of stuck too. And I think that's what I saw. And once you start feeling stuck, you, know, you start allowing and letting new things come in. It's like, wow, I, 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 I need some young people on the staff. I, I need that. I need some mature people on the staff too. You need a whole team. And my sister's part of the team. My sister's the tourist. My sister's, all, my sister's the money woman. She handled this whole LLC thing. I just stopped because it was an email coming that she's CCing me on because she that's what she do. Because she got her, so she's helping me mine. So hopefully I'm going to call after y'all and figure out that, that we finish so everything signed. She filled out the application doing all the work. I just gave her the money. And she's CCing me with the woman she worked with. And so we're just paying somebody to do all of it. We're not doing nothing by ourselves. And that's the easiest, best way. And I love it. The woman said from the agency, she did a... a email that went out to, I guess, all the potential clients at the LLC, and she said, due to the COVID, there has been an influx of people wanting these kind of open business services because so many people are starting their own businesses or trying to because they're home and what else is there? And I thought, that's a business by itself. If you know about that, you can clean up right now. 
you know, about any aspect. I thought of being a graphic designer. Remember before a graphic designer came out, then the market was flooded, then nobody wanted to be it, and now she's back in it at the perfect time because everybody's going to need those skills. And you need somebody hip, somebody young, somebody happening, somebody together. This is so dope. So, yeah, y'all, it's just naturally moving. I'm not afraid. You know, I'm not going to talk about it here. I'll talk about stuff like that in my mastermind group. But in our group, moving, saying goodbye, this last intensive that I'm ever doing, uh, we talked about what would be your fear of that thing that you know you have to let go of, person, place, or thing, or all of it, but you're having a hard time do it, doing it. One of the questions we talked about was identifying what is that fear? And I won't identify mine here, nor anybody else's. But what I will say is the fear that I identified, I'm not afraid anymore of it. Because I've been coming home, and I've been doing my own little thing, and I've been not speaking, and I've been doing fine. I I feel like I, I got Ghana. Like, I got it. I got it. I can do it. I, I can go through it. I, I feel comfortable here. And I feel I got this. And I'm ready for the next one. But... Even if I'm not ready, the universe is going to get me ready because you saw I thought we should have the warrior woman. <laughs> so, you know, you know, well, when she sounds like, okay, yeah, you know what, that's why you should do all of the flies. She's like, I am. I'm going to do it, mama. So, anyway, thank you for listening. I just wanted to share that with you. Always a little words of wisdom. Oh, wow, that looks so good. Thank you. Hey, Angel Stewart. Bethlehem says, I love, love, love this, and I love you, my beautiful sister. Thank you. So beautiful, says Naturally Clever. Charles Mary says, hello, Lisa. Beautiful collarbone slam. Thank you, darling. That guy from Texas, peace to you. So beautiful. Hey, B.B. Rodriguez. Truly cosmic, yes. All the way, huh, Naturally? That looks nice. Thank you. Ingenious blessings on your ventures. Thank you, darling. It's, it really is stunning. So unique and clever. Yes. BB, hey, that guy from Texas, peace to you and thank you. At Zumba, a queen, at that guy from Texas, naturally, give your love. Dominique, that's beautiful. Thank you. And naturally, come, hello, my love. How proud are we of our sis? Yes, I love y'all, my sisters. Very, says naturally. Yes, indeed, she is holding the vision. Thank you, Omi, my other soul sister. Honeycomb 368A. Oh my goodness, I love the lamb. Thank you. Yes, you are. And teaching others in the process. Also, peace and love on Forgive Me Cloud. Yes. Peace and love, naturally clever, she says. Yes, and that's what I want to do. W, I mean, MWH Boutique, born underwater. Looks like an Afro Caribbean. Love it. Yes, look like, yes, I love that. Zuma says, have you ever watched Dr. Lynn Richardson? She's a great financial advisor and talks about tax breaks, employing your children. Ooh, no, but I will look her up. So Zumba, leave it either on a message on um, WhatsApp or send me an email because I need to remember that name so when I get off, I can go to her right now because I'm all about just watching stuff that's uplifting and moving me in the directions of places that I don't, I've never been. So thank you. What? Yes. Right? Right? That's right, and Nancy, and then Zuma said, is it April's food day or just Fool's day? What the F, right? I was like, oh, he tried it. Well, he tried it. I looked at him like, dude, what? Some people are so rude. If you want to design, that is your business. Absolutely. This is what you, uh, that's true. That's true, um, MWH, MWH, yes. Zuma Queen 7 says, this is what you get for giving. I know, so many chances. Cheeky mother F, but that's right. You know, first, no, honey, you know we speak in the same language. This is all your style, and many people love it and will buy it, so keep doing you. Thank you, darling. The nerve, right? I know. You're like, huh? So his game, stay, oh, I, no, I know. I forgot about all the other stuff, and we're still saying, what else you got? Come on, I'm going to help you. Natural cover, I am living. That's right. The cheek. That's right. How many times has Lisa Marie given him the benefit of the doubt, give them an inch, and they take a mile, and that's what kind of got me. I was like, wow, you didn't do that to none of these other people, but me, the one that really is... He's eating and he's sitting down. Dumb people running. Like, I, y'all don't even understand how. Y'all could imagine the hustle when it was thriving. Now can you imagine the hustle when it's not and he ain't hustling. He ain't running behind. And then he was treating me like shit today. Like, I, could, I almost said, you know what? This is actually not even kind. And I told him. And let me tell you, when I paid him today, it was reflective of his attitude. I'm going to tell you that, though. Time has run out. That's it. He took the mile and then some with that one. He sure did, Queen. 
Uh, Mar hey, Marilyn. Hey, Lisa Marie. What channel do we go to to order things? Not right now, for me, after the new year. So at this point, it'll be Blackberry Beauty Academy, but you can go to theblackberrybeauty at gmail.com. Marilyn, go to the Black. If you want to, well, you said January. By January, the website will be up, and it'll be on the Blackberry. And it'll be on blackberrybeautyacademy.com. Okay, darling. Thought he was on easy. Yes. In a way, he was, but just, I know, messed it up. Whoever advised him, advised him, exactly. And I thought the same thing, like, I wanted to say the same. I wanted to say, dude, you tripping. You got a job with, you ain't had no, what? I made a job for you. I kept you on. These people is struggling. You acting stupid right now. So now you about to lose this one. What you going to do? But that was when somebody said, oh, well, he, he could find another man down. Well, where? Who at this point is spending this much money and who going to give money daily or even twice a week? Who, who's doing that? Who's <laughs> going to do that? Who's even investing, the crazy entrepreneur, me, who's investing every single dollar they make into, nobody's doing that right now. So it's not even, and he, he gets that, but he's, he's, we're not going to do evil. We're not going to do evil, but it's okay, y'all. Bless his heart. Bless his heart, I'm telling y'all, because it's already moved. So, yes, exactly. I love that. Hey, Elizabeth Grant. Hey, hello, Lisa Marie and family. Release him and let him go. You will be good. Yes, I feel, I feel really good, Elizabeth, about it, too. I feel like, and you know what, y'all? It's already happening naturally. He was only here for that sort of season, and now that season, though, no, really it is, and I feel good. Well done for staying so calm. Elizabeth. Yes, I would have prepared a switch for the nearest tree. That's right. He had to be joking. Oh, yeah. It, Luckily, we had a conversation last night, and no, I, and I was laying in bed. I did sit up, and my voice got a little loud. And then I was just, after a while, I was like, you know what? He, he, he tried it. Hello, my beautiful sister, Naturally Clever. Elizabeth says, hey, Naturally, that's right, says the guy. says, yes, the gravy train has arrived at the station. Some pastors have to get off. There you go. No longer afraid, no. I have to email you about that fish light. Please do. MC Light, one of my faves, sis, Lynn Richardson. She is the truth. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, okay, wait. Is MC Light Lynn Richardson? Because that, tell me about that. Yeah, that's clever. Yes, that's clever. He was ill-advised. The one, the one guarantee in life is change. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Remember, he said I was his last hope. I was the last stop. That's what he told me. He told, you know, listen to people's words. Yeah, and I know because you know everything. Because first, I mean, and the nastiness today, and I thought, well, that's okay because when I, he get paid, I'm about to ref that's going to reflect in his salary. Because um, you don't disrespect. You know, I mean, it was just kind of evil. It was not nice. But after a while, let me tell you, y'all, my mind, my mind is so. Every time I'm riding in a taxi, on a troll, it doesn't. I'm in a daze of design and what's next. Even the taxi ride, I always tell you, I love the taxi ride idea. That's when I came up with the idea of how to get my groceries delivered, coming home in a taxi. I've been telling you for months. I get my life because I'm away from that and his negative energy. Like, but it didn't even go, I don't see him that much. Like, when I say I don't see him, he's right next to me, but I, I'm gone. I'm gone. And I said, you know, it's so deep. And I, I don't know if that's because I'm getting older, getting better, getting wiser. But it's unfortunate, but he's going to be like somebody I used to know. In other words, I don't know if I'm going to remember him. It's, it's, it wasn't that, it's not nothing that was that memorable because now there's certain things in your life you have to understand that you are being carried by spirit, that you are being carried by the divine, that you are being carried by the ancestors. And the way that I know that I am is when things come and go and you don't really even realize they, you're not stuck on it going or you're not in it like that. You're not in it like that. So for me, it's, I don't even know if I'll, I might mean, remember one day, like I'll, I'll look at this armoire or something and be like, wow, I remember, oh, who was that? Kwame and Paul, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, seriously, and I'm not trying to diss him. It's just, it's almost like, and y'all all know it, when spirit come and gets you, spirit takes you, there's nothing you could do. You could just, and then you live, have lived long enough, graze on the head, right? So you live long enough to actually see. You've lived long enough to see that this is, this, this is okay and that you can't get caught up with how people feel. And when you have no guilt, you go further because guilt is, is very heavy and it holds you back and it holds you down. I know what I did. And remember, there were some few people, I'm, I'm calling haters, I'm going to people that didn't understand, people that didn't really get it. 
that was really trying to make me feel guilty as if they really thought that he was the bread. See, he knew I was the bread and butter. And I said that, I said, now if you asked him, he wouldn't see it like some people see it like she's so lucky. He never, I mean, he, he voiced that. He, he knew who the lucky one was. Because you look around at these brothers and sisters over here begging for you to buy one thing because they aren't they struggling. I mean, literally, please buy for me. I'm struggling. That I, I hear it every day. He looking at him. George got it good. They told him, man, how lucky are you to have meet the American woman during the pandemic? They told him, and he told me, and I told y'all. I ain't even nothing. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm good. Like I'm so. I'm just so. Look like the like the like the Calabash man said, congratulations. Like the sheet man said, congratulations. Your first, your first fabric, your first design, your first. Congratulations. It's all good. It was good. Look what we did. So and and remember, there's life beyond that center, and that's what's really going on too. And I know it. And a lot of y'all knew it for a while, but you know what? It was it was a it's a great starting point. And actually, I got people now I'm working with that I met that I'll be working with the textile people, at least them, and then I think there's gonna be others. They OGs, but they look like black, they even look black American. I tell them all the time, be like, wow, if y'all was walking down the street, they look like my uncles. They some dope brothers. I really, really love them. Very professional, love them, hard workers. They OGs in the game. And they open to my suggestions and, and I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm speaking up and I'm telling what I see and I don't know, things are changing. Y'all, you know what it is? I need this. I need this, y'all. I need this. This is right where I'm supposed to be. It just, it fits my personality so well. I'm a boss and I love it. Calling me Sarge and all that, that's fine. That's good. So obey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Respect. But don't, you can't keep nobody in prison. And so this is a lesson for all of us. We can't keep nobody in prison. That's not fair. We can't hold somebody forever. That's not fair. And we don't want to do it to anybody else. And we don't want anybody else to do it to us. So I am very, very, I'm, I'm, I, I, you see that lamp? You see these lamps? I'm in business with this man until... And I'm going to be in January. That's another thing. You know, think about every time you go on a trip, you got to take the person. Pay. Yo, he rides taxis. I pay for all of it because I'm asking him to escort me to the places. Remember, we was eating out every single day. He was getting the best meals. I was going to Cape Coast and, and Amina. He was getting the best vacations. He should really be calling me saying, I really want to thank you for all you've done. And I know you got to move on. And if you need me, I'll be here to help you. If I was him, I'd be trying to see where I could fit in. You know what I'm saying? But it's not for him to. My assistant is coming. And my assistant is going to help me to grow in this industry, particularly in many ways, I'm, I'm sure. But definitely in the social media, like my daughter, my daughter, She's going to help me so much. It's going to be, because I'm doing it, really. I'm doing it. I want joy and all the happiness. But I'm doing it for a legacy. I'm doing, I'm doing it for generational wealth. I want to leave her something so she can do and call her own shots in life. And I, he doesn't have children, so that motivation is not even there. And I'm ready to work with young people, and I'm ready to work with other artists, which I'm working with. I love the, the core people that I'm working with, which is the guy that does uh, the guy that does the patch patch and all the uh, all the blankets, the blanket guy, Kwame talks the most. He really is not as comfortable with English, but that's okay because when I have my assistant, they'll know the language and everything will be cool. I, I he's excellent work. Like I love his impeccability in the work that he does, and he listens and he's getting to know me, so he's understanding. I need choices. I love working with him. I love working with the boutique people. The textile people, I love working with those two brothers are just so right on. I love working with them. And I love working with the Calabash man because he's thinking forward and he's he's always got these new creative ideas and we came up with another beautiful lamp that we'll be coming out with. And we understand the exclusivity of this. And then I also love working with the man that's gonna come with the pop the bag line. The bag line 
is probably the hardest thing that's why what I'm doing. The bag line because you gotta wear the bag, you gotta know how it functions, you gotta it's a lot and it's it's all worth it. And then Esther. Esther is so near and dear to my heart. I don't know if Esther gonna be able to hang out in the big leagues because Esther ain't no. But I still I, I she's still my number one seamstress. And I'm gonna call my number one person that brings my designs to life because I don't know. <laughs> Um, and let me tell you, if Esther was sewing it, it'd be beautiful. And it's not that, because let me tell you, the last, the pants, impeccable. Every, actually, the sewing is beautiful. Her sew, no, that apron, sewing is beautiful. Let me get this, because Kwame did read her rights, and she is sewing it herself. What is not is the, is the, if she don't think it's appropriate, then she makes what she wants. <laughs> you can't do that, you know, so yeah. But that's okay. I love Esther, and I got an outfit to pick up from her, and I think you're going to love it. And it goes with that collection, and then we'll see what else. So I say there is no limit, not even the sky. I feel like, um, and I want to tell you this, anything you do, just some advice that I can tell you this, and this, and this is all I know for sure. The more you, if you got to do what calls you, because the more you do it, the better you actually become. Now, notice I didn't say the better you get at it. Because at it, where you see it is at first, it's beyond that. You're just, just getting your chops wet. You're just getting started. But what you're going to become, because you're not fully developed. When you design, designing is spiritual. And it's transformational. So you think you're here, and then you know you meditate or you grow in life. You be like, oh, I learned so much. Well, designing is the same way. You really think that when you when I first designed this, which don't get me wrong, is absolutely stunningly beautiful, the colors, everything, and I'm sure many of you would love to own this apron. And I thought it was the baddest thing I did, and it is bad. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, right? Love it, we love it, right? That last one, that's some out of the world stuff. Every single time I go back in, it goes into something else. It's not like I be wanting to leave the old, it's that I'm developing into the new all the time. It's like becoming, like Michelle Obama talks about in her book. You becoming so you ain't even as bad. You don't even know what you could do. And when you the lamp, what, what, what how that come? What, what happened? I woke up. I did. I was like, you know what? I got two. What am I gonna do with them two? Oh, I want a coffee table. But I want a lamp, a coffee table that light up. I want like an aquarium, but I don't really want an aquarium. How do I do that? Like an aquarium. I feel like an aquarium, but it don't really be no aquarium. There no water. And I was like, well, wait. I got these two. But I know we, could, we should put them on top of each other and then put a glass on them. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm innovative, you know, and so are you. So I have to see this through because I'm excited that I don't know what's coming. But I seem like it's getting, I don't know, y'all be the judge too. I feel like I'm getting more refined. I feel like I'm coming more into myself and into my comfortability with design. I, I, I know, I, this is amazing. Like, what? Okay, so I'm ready. And that's the last part. The last part of this is be ready. I'm ready for more. Remember I had that mantra, I want you to watch all that I'm doing. The mantra I said to y'all was, I'm, I'm ready for more. I kept saying this the last few weeks, and people know in the intensives, I'm ready for more. The moment you say that, and all things, and all higher beings, and all ascended masters that are aligned with you, and you with it, they hear you, and it begins. And then even my line is so cosmic, and so, so I know another thing too is, you know, she said about how do you stay in this business, and it's like business, when it gets hard, Lisa Price. And she said, you have to be so passionate about what you do. Nobody can take away my passion. No one can take away my passion. I am super passionate. And everybody knows it. And the other thing is the spirituality. My spirituality will always keep me innovative, will always keep me grounded, will always keep me attracting the right people. In this case, it's some young folks. Because I, I, it's a question that Again, Lisa surprise. I'm watching her stuff, but I always thought, she said to ask yourself this question and ask other people too. 
and I'm asking you now, the clothes that stay this long. There's other people that might be into Afrocentricity or Afrocentric home decor. From your perspective, ladies and gentlemen, what separates me from the other home decor or what is the thing that stands out about me and Afrocentric home decor? And I would love for you to drop it inside the, the, in, um, the comment box. And for me, I don't know, for me, like if I just answer that my own for myself, I think it's the spiritual aspect. I, I, I don't know if you'll realize that, but I think it's the spiritual aspect that I really do connect the Dogon door and the Dogons and the Star Series B and the cosmic element and the colors believing that they're going to emote and promote a certain kind of feeling, a certain kind of connectivity that is really spiritual. I feel like that, and, and the other thing that I also think is I'm into the upliftment of our people. So I'm into the historical, like a kitchen really dedicated to Kwame Nkrumah's Ghana. And the political, the historical, the cultural, and then my last part I would say is the connection to the artists and the artisans and how I really want them to win. And I ain't paying them no little bit. I'm paying them what they really deserve. I'm not talking them down. There's no negotiating necessary. You know that's a damn good price. Pay it. Once I did that, I released the need to even rely on this. It was, it was a good price, even they so-called higher ones. But when they, we know each other, it's good. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to give you what you deserve. So I feel like that. But I would love, so as, even those that's watching the replay, I would love to hear from you all. And for those that are watching it now, what do you think I'm bringing to the Afrocentric the home decor space that you, not, you have not or did not see or not seen or just different than maybe what other people are bringing? It might be some of the stuff I said. It may be none of the stuff I said. Because, but I really want to hear from you. That's the beauty of social media is that you can get your instant, you don't have to do it. This is our survey taking, and this will help me understand. And then the last question I'm going to ask you is, and what would you like to see more in the Afrocentric home decor space, However that, whatever that means for you, you know, what would you like to see more? Definitely, oh, okay, thank you, Ms. Brooks. She says, definitely your knowledge, passion, and connection to work. Yes, thank you. Shelly, Shelly, hey, Shelly. I believe for me it's that you are so genuine and unapologetically true to yourself. Oh, I love that. I love both of those. Omi Funke says, Lynn Richardson is straight. No chase. I love her energy and devotion. Oh, okay, good. So I do need to see her. Most definitely agree. Spiritual insight. Thank you, Naturally Clever. Thank you. Dominique says, you're such an inspiration. Thank you, Ms. Lisa Marie. You're very welcome. Uh, you got to do what calls you. Yes. Okay, I don't know why because I plugged this in. So why? Why? Why are you not? I see you. Oh. No, that's the right one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's in. It's plugged. Talk about what you talking about. Hold on, y'all. I don't know. Okay. Sorry, I guess that's just it telling us, hey, it's over. But thank you, and then, yeah, so y'all continue to put that because that's all helping me to make sure that the things that people see in me that I am and that I become and that I continue to be and still grow and that I am y'all, I'm, I'm about this. I'm about this whole black life. And no matter what happens in the future, and that's the third one, now they all broken now, okay. Just put that up. <laughs> no matter what happens in the future and where the business go and business is, that, that the core is always my sister, and that's, that's just where it is. Now, do I think that, we'll talk about this, on, this is a whole other conversation, this is a late already. Do I think that because of the exquisiteness, that's another thing, I think that this is high-end stuff, I think it's exquisite, just like the words you'll use. I'm going to go back and show the lamp for the people that just came on. Do I think that because of the exquisiteness, because of the way that I'm promoting Africa, and specifically African design and African decor and African uh, people, I think that that is going to allow others uh, to actually want it too. And there's nothing we're going to be able to do to stop them, y'all. And y'all got to know that. 
They're going to want to wear the robes. They're going to want to wear the lamps. They're going to, the lamps. They might want to wear the lamps. But no, they're going to want to wear the, the robe, the aprons. Because this stuff, that lamp, I looked at Neiman Marcus. And they got the so-and-so and the so-and-so. These little names that it don't, look, it don't look half as good as this. It don't look half as good as this. And I will always keep it African. When I say that, I will always, anytime I do an interview, anytime I go, and what do you, African, cla African excellence, African class, African beauty, exquisite African design. Like I will be that person that will always make them know this is African. Like people say, oh, it's from the Greco-Roman stage or a period. This from the so-and-so period, it's from the Ashanti people, you know what I'm saying? This from the Airway people, this from the people from Togo. And really go into the history of the people, continually put us up there as ancient and, and new and today. And exquisite and classy and high-end. I'm going to lean in the forefront of our stuff being high-end. It's very important to me. So I hope it's important to you as well. All right, ladies, I love you. Tomorrow is on my class. I'm excited. I love that group. I'm going to be excited to turn that group into a mastermind, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Don't forget, a week from tomorrow, uh, Nana and Ketia, yeah, he's going to take you to Cloud9. It's the best $97 you will ever spend, and he's going to do exercises for you, make dishes and food. I mean, recipes. He's a real foodist. Talk about that journey. The, his wisdom, just come sit and start filling yourself up with that kind of African wisdom and knowledge. And, and remember, it's Blackberry Beauty Academy, ancient African wisdom. What? But a modern sister. Too cool. Too cool. So, yeah, and thank you. And, I, and all of your comments, I, I would love to hear from them. I'm taking it to heart, and I'm going to try not to use my nails to hit this. Susan, hey, you always connect the spiritual energy, your work to your work. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, your USP for me is your passion. You live it. You dare to go where others don't. Oh, thank you. Dominic said, I feel like you embody Mother Earth. Oh, I loving it. Now he says, and you work hard and make sure you give your buyers the experience you would want to receive. Yes, it's the truth. That's what I Yes, Africa is a very powerful and inspiring place. You show us this each and every time. Yes, that's true. Just by being, right, and doing. I love that, Susan. That's the world. That's so, yes, I mean, something to think about. Look up cultural retention. You fall in that category. Thank you. And I was I love the idea of what have we retained since our, you know, exit out of Africa involuntarily. And I feel like we culturally retained a lot. And so I love that word. I've always loved that that phrase, cultural retention. It's always a passionate phrase for me and I because I'm about that. So I thank you for seeing that. Third eye open. Uh, the link for the master class is above. Don't miss it. Exactly. And listen, there was a, the link to my uh, spiritual protection class, the master class that I'm teaching in January. It was the link was not working. My daughter put me on, but now it is. So look in the last few videos. That's the right link. If you find the link don't work, go to the most recent video and the link will work. You can buy anything now. But let's focus on the, uh, the herbalist because that's a week from tomorrow. And I'm excited. And after, so this weekend um, is the herbalist. No, next weekend. Next weekend is the herbalist, this weekend. But the week after the herbalist and after Christmas, I guess that'll be January, I'm going to go to the ocean. And whoever's in the master class or the, any master class, not just the group mastermind group, you're going to come with me. We're going to start taking trips. I'm just going to give me a driver. People hire drivers all the time. They take you, you just schedule them for the two to four hours to take they leave, I stay there for two or three days, they come back and get you. That's what we're gonna do, because I need it. And also the January, going to the January trip, which is already, I gotta book a hotel, I gotta stay, I gotta find my own food, I gotta do all that. That's going up north. That's the one we're about to learn about the collective. She's gonna be teaching the her, her 50 women collective, and she's gonna teach me too, while there, how to be involved in all that. And also get my own plugs into a lot of the mud cloth and uh the a lot of stuff so many spiritual things about the north and so you know i ain't done yet you know i'm gonna be running into you know spiritual men and women and diva nations like like spirits telling me get ready 
2021 for all of us. I'll do another video on that on the other channel, maybe tomorrow, about what I see with the predictions that I see for 2021. And they're going to be very good, very heavily, 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 heavily into the spiritual realms and sciences and the cults very much. All right, ladies, I love you. Thank you so much. And uh, y'all, I did a shop, you know, home shopping uh, on the other channel with some jewelry. So check it out, please. Naturally, cover the link for the, yes, okay, that's right. Love you, ladies. I'll see you in the next one. And wait, I said quickly for those that just joined, this is what the whole video started on. Uh, she was born underwater. That's what this is, born underwater. This is my first design lamp. Of course, in conjunction with the uh, Calabash man and, uh -uh. and all the other ones in the house I did not do. That was all his. And like he said, congratulations. So I am congratulating myself on what I thought was going to be a coffee table lamp. This part, and I thought I was going to put the coffee, and that's not to say that's not coming out in some other time, but look at this beauty right here. I shall, I shall, queen. I shall. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. And just even the light bulb, I was like, come on, brother. We got to put a light bulb up in there that the bottom need. Look, you can't have this beauty and leave it. It don't look like another lamp from the one that I brought home before. The same, the same lamp. But that light bulb on it, but he figured it out. Fabulous. Isn't it fabulous? Just stunning. So anybody that's interested in that lamp and you want one just like that, of course, your collar box, let me talk to my sister. I love you. But if you want one like that, get in touch with me. Inquire about the price. And we will work it out or we will work out something else in your budget. So don't be scared, y'all. Come through. Love you, ladies. Peace and love.